I was 21 years old. I was living in Seattle, Washington. My dream was to become a poker dealer. I didn't really have a plan. You know, I, I, I've learned since then that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. But I didn't know that at the time, and I had no plan, but I didn't fail because here I still am. But I dealt poker off and on for a lot of years. Back in those days, there were no policies against abuse. Players could pretty much treat you any way they wanted to. They could say awful things to you. They could put their cigarettes out on you. How bad was Stu Unger at that uh, do you really want to know? Yes. Give us a real hard life example. Well, I mean, he acted as any hardcore drug addict might act. He was horribly abusive. In Stu's defense, he was in no way the worst. I mean, he, he was in no way the worst, but he was horrible. He was horrible to deal to. You know, um, he was he was genius. I don't know if, you know, he was manic or had, had something else going on. He was absolutely genius. He absolutely thought about poker in ways that wouldn't even be written about for 25 years. But, you know, there was the story about how he would bet on sports, just huge gambles on sports, and he, he had a suite on the 17th floor of the Dunes, and he'd be watching the game, and he'd get pissed off because the other team scored, and he'd take his TV and throw it out the window. Unreal. 17th floor, and he'd call down to maintenance and say, I need a new TV. they bring him bring him up one. There were no rules back then, and it was just, it was a war zone. I was fired from almost every job I had in this town because back then it was a good old boys network, and they had to fire the new kid on the block, which was always me, but, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you tougher, and it, it made me tougher, and, and uh, you know, I, I had a nice long stint dealing at the Golden Nugget where Eric Drake really stepped up and, and saved my butt when I, I wouldn't take some abuse and walked out in the middle of a shift, and he did not fire me, and he, he actually patted me on the back and said, way to go. And so while the management back then wouldn't stop the abuse, they at least didn't, as it, as it came to be, didn't expect the dealers to tolerate it, and they would back the dealers who backed themselves. And then, uh, you know, Linda and I later, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, 20 years, 20 years ago, decided that, that, you know, no abuse was the way to go. And she started writing, you know, in the magazine, she told people that, that this was what was going to have to happen. And back in the 70s, it was awful. In the 80s, it was awful. In the 90s, it was just starting to change a little bit. But by the early 90s, I, I was pretty well burnt out on dealing, and I played a little bit for, uh, for income. Back early in my early career dealing, you had to be a prop player. You had to play your own money, and if three people died or didn't show up, then you got to deal cards and they always had more dealers than they needed because they needed you to help start start games. So you had to learn to play or you went broke and you had to find another line of work. So I kind of was thrown into the snake pit and had to learn quickly how at least to break even in the game so that I was able to still pay my bills. And, you know, I found out that on, during the times I got to deal, if I paid attention, especially because I was doing some of the high-limit games at the Nugget back in the early 80s, that if you paid attention, you could learn the game without having to spend any money doing it because you could just watch the other players. So I, that's how I got to know a lot of the really well-known players today is because of my longevity in the industry. But if you'd asked me then where I thought I was going to be, you know, as I approached 60 years of age, I wouldn't have had a clue that life would have been would have turned out as well for me as it has. I just I couldn't be happier with my life. Poker has been a wonderful career for me. I plan to be in poker for the rest of my you know years that I'm able to contribute to it.